So let's do a practice problem for mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry. How many grams of oxygen can be made from the decomposition of 100 grams of lead 4 oxide? Here's the balanced chemical equation. And we're nice enough to give you the molar mass of lead 4 oxide as well as that of oxygen. You'll have to put in the correct units. So pause the slide and see how far you can go. And then when you're done, Start it again, and we'll go over this problem. OK, so the first thing we want to do is write down our given and our wanted. And we notice that we have mass of one chemical given, and we want the mass of a different chemical. And they're related through a balanced chemical equation. Anytime we have that situation, we're going to use stoichiometry. And stoichiometry always uses a mole ratio so we need to get our quantities to moles. They gave us the molar mass of lead 4 oxide as well as the molar mass of oxygen. And from our balanced equation, we get our relationship between these two chemicals. According to our balanced equation, two moles of lead 4 oxide will yield one mole of oxygen. So let's do our double unit check to make sure we have two of everything. Grams of lead 4 oxide, grams of lead 4 oxide grams of oxygen, grams of, oops, grams of oxygen. Moles of oxygen, moles of oxygen. Moles of lead 4 oxide, moles of lead 4 oxide. So every unit is accounted for, so we can go ahead and do our railroad math. We start out with our given values, 100.0 grams of our lead 4 oxide. Grams of lead 4 oxide must go down here, and here's the only conversion factor with grams of lead 4 oxide. The other half of this conversion factor is moles of lead 4 oxide. So I've just gotten from grams to moles. Now, uh, here's my other conversion factor that has moles. This is my mole ratio that gets me from my lead 4 oxide to my desired chemical. So now I'm at my desired chemical oxygen. The final step is to get it into grams. And here's my conversion factor that will allow me to do that. One mole of O2 is equal to 32 grams. OK, so now I'm going to let my calculator do the math. And my calculator gives me 6.68896. I'm going to stop there. I'm running out of room. Grams of O2. Let's look at whether this makes sense. It's less than uh, 100 grams. And since lead is so massive, probably most of my mass is going to go over here rather than with my oxygen. So this, this is a reasonable answer. Now let's look at my sig figs. I have four sig figs in my given value. One, two, three, four. This is my last allowable digit. I look to the right. I'm going to round up. So my final answer in correct sig figs is 6.689 grams of oxygen. That's my final answer. If you've got that, you need to give yourself a big pat on the back.